Hi! Welcome to Bulletproof Art. I'm Sam and today I'm going to be showing you nine exercises that you can do to start or improve your hand lettering. So let's get to it. I'm going to start off with a disclaimer that I am a beginner, so this is a beginner to beginner tutorial. These are the exercises that I use to help improve my calligraphy, so I'm hoping that they can help you as well. There are a few things that you can start with. So we have our two basics. We have the upstroke, which is a thin line, and then we have the downstroke, which is a thicker line. And you can practice doing these just in rows, trying to make your thin upstroke as thin as you can make it. Just going all the way across the page. Now, as a beginner, your upstrokes don't have to be super thin because you are just starting out, but try your hardest to make a difference between your upstrokes and your downstrokes. Another thing to keep in mind is how you hold your pen. So I'm using a Crayola Super Tip Marker and you want to hold your pen at like a 45 degree angle when you make your downstrokes and then you want to tip it up just a little bit when you make your upstrokes. And you can see my upstrokes aren't the tiniest, but the more that you practice, the better that you're going to get at it. Now, the third thing that you can do is to sort of make like a downstroke with a tail, and you want the tail to be thin because this would be your exiting stroke. So when you finish a letter and you're going to go into another one, this is one you would practice to do that. And I'm just kind of flicking my wrist when I do this. And lifting, I push down first and then I lift up to do the tail. That one didn't work very well. Now, another thing you can do is to make sort of like an end shape. But first, the the first stroke you do is going to be a thin stroke, and then when you come down, that's going to be your thick stroke. And then you just make a line of those. And then our next one is going to be the opposite of this one. So you're going to make a thick down stroke and a thin up stroke. To make a U shape. And like I said, I am still a beginner, so my this this is one I have trouble with. <laughs> You'll notice. <laughs> Put pressure going down and lift when you go up. And again, just make a noticeable difference between your downstroke and your upstroke. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially when you're just starting out. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put these two together. So we're going to start with the thin uh, upstroke, the thick downstroke, and then go back to the thin upstroke. And then you're just going to do a row of those. Another thing to keep in mind is you want to take your time when you're doing this because when you watch other people do it on the internet, they're probably speeding up their videos as I am doing now to make it look like they're moving a lot faster than they really are. The next thing we're going to do is an O. So you make the one side thicker and then the upstroke is going to be thinner.
Now the next thing we're gonna do is the, it looks like a P, but this is what you would use when you draw your H's. So if you were to draw an H, you would go back over and then continue with one of these to make your H. So you have your thin little curly Q and then your thick downstroke. And then the last one we're gonna do is the J stroke. So it's gonna be the opposite of the P stroke. So you're gonna do your long, your thick line down and then curl it over. And you wanna make your curly Q as thin as possible. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect if you're just beginning. As long as there is a notable difference between the thickness and the thinness of your line. And there you have it. Those are nine exercises that you can do to improve your hand lettering or if you're just starting out, this is where you would start. I recommend doing these exercises at least once a day for a week just to see an improvement. I really hope this was helpful to you if you're a beginner. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to stay connected. I post videos twice a week. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye!